Hi, this is Nick Wigdell, and we have a report on Holmer's new three-axled Terra T4. It's towards the end of February, and we're still harvesting here in Norfolk, and the team from Holmer have brought a T4 over for testing. Let's go look at the machine. The T4 is powered by a 625 horsepower Mercedes-Benz engine, which meets the Tier 4 emission standards through the use of AdBlue. The three axles all are mechanically driven, and there are two gears running from 0 to 13 kilometers, and the second one up to 40 kilometers for road speed. The bogey rear axles are suspended so that it keeps the machine level and also improves the adhesion of the four rear wheels to the ground. The bunker will unload in about 50 seconds and can carry 30 tonnes. The use of high tensioned lightweight steel has reduced the weight of the topping and lifting unit by 30%. This lighter weight front topping unit is a contributory factor to allowing the machine to comfortably travel along at 12 kilometers an hour, whereas with the previous Terra T3, that 12 kilometers an hour figure was much more of a maximum figure. The use of very large 800 by 70 tires on the front and 1050 by 50 tires on the rear is designed to keep the machine moving even in very difficult conditions. Although with the wet weather we've had here in the UK during 2012, sometimes even the most advanced machines come to a bit of a halt. The load sensing systems, however, allow power to be transmitted to the wheels with the most grip, and here we see the machine reversing out of trouble. Holmer's T4 is aimed squarely at the market that hitherto has been dominated by um, Roper with their Tiger model, and interestingly, Roper themselves have launched a two-axle machine which is aiming at Holmer's Terados T3 market. Improved fuel efficiency, an output of up to 2.5 hectares per hour and a highly config configurable control system gives Holmer the right elements to challenge Roper. How successful they are will be seen. The machine goes on sale in 2014.